Okay, so a few people have uh, commented on my A-level revision tips videos for me to upload a video on my A-level revision notes. Um, so basically this video is just an example of um, the notes that I made during my time doing A-levels and I'll just show you how I structured my notes, how I used the different colours and stuff like that and how I've integrated the specification into some of my notes. But yeah, just keep watching and hopefully I'll have... But yeah, just keep watching and uh, hope it helps. Okay, so these are my chemistry notes. Um, it's just to give you an example um, and an idea of how you might want to structure yours and what the things that I did for mine. As you can see from this, there's I used different colors. I used quite a lot of different colors. It's just because if you can imagine notes just all in one color, it's hard to remember or it's hard to see things that should stand out. For example, hemoglobin, this is quite important. So I, you know, I wrote it in blue and then went over it in a red outline. Um, again, carbon monoxide, quite important topic in um, complex structures. So I did it in red and then, you know, a, a little cloud sort of around it and then exclamation marks. So you make sure you use different colors for your notes and also the diagrams. There's quite a lot of diagrams that I did. So make sure you include diagrams because you're not always going to remember notes. You might remember a picture easier than you remember um, what you wrote down. So make sure you draw pictures. It helps with your revision as well. Underline and do underlining of like your titles and subheadings because it just makes topics stand out a bit more. And especially when you're going through your notes as well and you want to revise a specific topic, you know, you can just pick one out, um, you know, when you see a heading. So that's one. Here's another page. And I use a specification for making this note. That's why I put definition first and then wrote down the definition and then the exception and again a little diagram. Yeah, just have a bit of fun when you're doing it as well. This is supposed to be a car speed up reactions. I don't know. It just little things like that where it can help you remember things more easily. Honestly, they do help. And especially when you're revising and everything's boring. You want to just add in a little diagram or whatever or a little drawing or and then it'll just i don't know it might help you remember things a little bit easier and again more diagrams i've done this is trans versus optical and that's how it looks some of the more wordy notes um looked a bit like this so you know bullet point make sure you bullet point as well don't write out full sentences from the book because the book contains a lot of irrelevant information and um, the textbooks anyways so just bullet point summarize each sentence or else you're going to have like 100 200 pages of notes and um, which you're not going to read through when it comes to the exam now for chemistry the ex the past papers are really important and this is what i found really helpful this was probably what got me the a in my chemistry uh, exam here i wrote down the topic and exam questions and basically what this was what this is is when I was in the past papers, I got quite a few questions wrong. And the questions that I got wrong, I wrote them down in red, and then the answer, I wrote them down in black. So the question was, why do amines act as a base? And the, the mark scheme answer was, because the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen accept the proton. And the day before my exam, I read through these about, you know, a few times, and the questions that I got wrong came up again and I eventually got them right. So this this was one of the most helpful or one of the most useful things that I did in my uh, for my chemistry revision. So just make sure you write down the question in red and the answer in a different color. But yeah, that's my chemistry revision notes um, and technique sort of thing. Um, hope this video was helpful. Um, but thanks for watching and bye for now.